Good morning everyone. I am Sanjana Jain, your host for today and we are here to talk about industrial IoT platforms where I have with me Mr. Narayan Gokhale, Associate Research Director, Quadrant Knowledge Solutions, where he kind of summarize the changing vendor landscapes of 2023. Over to you, Mr. Narayan ji. Uh, thanks, Sanjana. Uh, so in today's talk show, we are going to talk about, you know, uh, the IoT platforms landscape and the changes that have taken place in the year 2023. As we close 2023 and get into 2024, a lot has happened in the vendor landscape as far as IIoT platforms are concerned. So the way in which we kind of categorize different vendors of IIoT platforms, we have cloud service providers and large enterprises as one category. Then we have industrial automation companies as another category. Then we have, um, you know, software, dedicated software companies or independent software vendors as another vendor type. And then we have specialized players or specialized companies which are mainly startups, solution providers, system integrators, and new technology companies. So in this particular vendor landscape, which comprises of these four vendor types, a lot has, lot has changed over the past 12 months. So if we take the large enterprises and uh, cloud service providers, uh, we can start with, for example, Google. Now, Google uh, in August 2023 discontinued with its IoT core service. So that was a major change that happened. So Google Cloud Platform is very much up and running. There is no change there. But as far as IoT core service is concerned, that is what they discontinued in this particular year. And they thought that uh, the, the focus should be uh, to serve the market where they are able to sell more of their products. And secondly, the better go-to-market strategy would be to tie up with uh, you know, the partners who are more capable in IoT capabilities and have GCP at the background. So that was one major change which users as well as vendors had to adapt as far as uh, Google is concerned. A second most important change came from IBM. So IBM also deprecated its IoT Watson platform as of 1st December 2023. And so what they have done is they have now integrated or embedded their IoT platform in their larger platform, which is now going to serve the assets and facilities or the asset management and facility management. So from only a dedicated platform play, they are now getting into an integrated player where they would concentrate on asset management. So that's a major change that has happened in IBM strategy. That's another refocus that is happening as far as IBM is concerned. Then we have another large company, another large enterprise, namely SAP. So SAP also decided that they are not going to concentrate on its standalone platform as a service for IoT. So they have also integrated that platform into their larger platform and they would be also serving the asset management space. So as we can see, uh, the large companies are wanting, are re have done some strategic refocusing as far as this market is concerned and that will have a lot of or that already has a lot of implications uh, in the marketplace and as and a, and a good examples of how dynamically this vendor landscape is changing. Now, why, why actually these companies were forced to do this kind of a strategic refocus? Uh, some things based on our research kind of tell us that companies like Google or SAP or IBM there is a subconscious brand equity associated with these companies. Now, Google is associated with search or cloud platform. IBM is associated with computing, whereas SAP is associated with ERP. When, when, do, when these companies came up with IoT platforms, there was a subconscious brand mismatch. And that was one of the reasons. That was not only the reasons. Then those companies felt that uh, in terms of customizations and scalability, uh, there were limited uh, opportunities or whether they as a companies were not able to handle them and then there was limited market opportunities as well and they felt possibly go to market with good players or good uh, you know IOT companies would be a better market strategy. Uh, so then uh, we come to another set of companies again large companies so a company like Ericsson it is a very big company in telecommunication they also had their own IOT platform they decided to sell off their IoT business. And they sold their business to a company called as Eris Communications. 
and they do have a stake in that company Eris Communications. But uh, uh, Ericsson would concentrate only on their IT services business cloud and leave the exact IoT platform to Eris Communications. Then we have company like G, a large company like G, now G Digital or G Vernova. So a lot of restructuring is going within G. They also decided not to sell their IoT platform externally. And right now they are promoting their IoT platform only for internal projects, which are mainly energy related projects, both conventional energy and renewable energy. So that there is a strategic refocus as well as they are, they are also uh, concerned. Then there's another company uh, which is called as Software EG. Now Software EG uh, had, uh, have their own IoT platform called as Cumulocity IoT platform. But they, they have decided to again position it as an integrated platform based on StreamSets data management platform uh, which lies beneath it and the web methods API management platform. So it is very easy for them to position them not only as an IoT platform but a larger data integration uh, kind of platform here. So as we see here, you know, there are different companies uh, wanting to refocus, re-strategize maybe at times get out of IoT business. Uh, so a lot of things are happening in this particular uh, space uh, in 2023. Then there have been some mergers and acquisitions in this particular space. For example, Rockwell Automation acquired Knowledge Lens. It's a company based in India and their specialty is, is, is in industrial AI, industrial artificial intelligence. So Rockwell is trying to build uh, this particular AI capability into their IoT platform. Plus, they do have a very strong uh, partnership with PTC as far as their ThingsWorks platform is concerned. So Rockwell, again, is kind of wanting to consolidate uh, uh, through this acquisition. Then another interesting acquisition came from Accenture. Uh, they acquired another Indian IoT platform company called as Flutura. And Flutura, again, is an industrial AI company. So again, we see here industrial AI capability is something which larger companies are trying to uh, get this capability through uh, acquisitions. There's another company uh, which used to be called as Envision Digital. Now, Envision Digital has renamed uh, uh, itself to call themselves as Universe. And now they are focusing completely on uh, the net zero and the uh, carbon uh, and, the, and the net uh, net zero kind of business, energy kind of business. So use case uh, based kind of business is what they are now going to kind of focus and present into uh, this particular marketplace. So as you can see, uh, the entire uh, IoT vendor landscape is changing completely. Companies are re-strategizing, refocusing. And uh, now, for example, uh, we see that companies are wanting to be seen as an integrated platform provider. They want to be seen as uh, companies, uh, you know, just as we saw uh, in case of uh, other companies that are wanting to present uh, to be a solutions provider and services provider. Another notable example uh, comes from uh, Hitachi Vantara. So Hitachi, as you know, is a Japanese conglomerate. And so when we talk to them, they clearly told us that they are again shifting their focus away from an IoT platform to concentrate more on solutions and services. So to summarize the uh, refocusing, re-strategizing uh, towards integrated platform, uh, then towards solutions and services, and then mergers and acquisitions to build up their AI capabilities. So uh, a lot has changed in 2023, and I when we hope that there will be a lot more uh, dynamics happening in the year 2024 as well. Thank you. Thank you, Naranji, for covering 2023 uh, IoT trends in such a insightful way for us. Uh, stay tuned, everyone. Uh, we'll have more such videos coming in for everyone. Mm -hmm.